I'm going to skip around a little bit. It says, biological weapons were the new national security concern in the fall of 1995 in the effort to have sanctions against countries relieved. Iraqi President Saddam Hussein disclosed to the United Nations that Iraq had been producing biological weapons by the turn, including botulinum toxin, camel pox, and hemorrhagic conjuncti conjunctivitis conjunctivitis hemorrhagic hemorrhagic conjunctivitis I've never heard of this shit and then they always put these crazy ass names on it you know what I mean? I like that called it like the Black Death. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, so short, sweet. They would have put these super scientific. Like Esau's confusion. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, when you go into Corona, Corona's just SARS. So why is you? I mean, I understand that it's supposed to supposedly morphed and if they weaponized it or whatever. Which I kind of believe they weaponized it. You know, it's research. I, I was looking it up because I was gonna do a video on it. But here's a patent on it. But a patent can be put on something because they want to actually. Make medicines for it. Like, you got all these companies right now trying to make medicines. And that's the new thing. Like, you're getting a vaccine. I was talking to guys that I work with that's a lot older than me. They were saying how when the sound flu came out, they made you take that. While people talking about they, you can't just make you take it. And I'm like, what? And then I was arguing with a two-third. He bought it older than the guy that's sitting up there telling me that they made them take it. I'm like, well, where the fuck was you at? He was high, though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I guess he... That's why a lot of jakes... Like, I got a, a guy I knew from... When I was homeless, my lot was to be homeless. He got a decent job now. You know, work at a hospital, put himself up. Well, the Lord did it. It's a lucky. And that's probably the way the Lord going to judge him. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I try to tell him the truth. And everybody got their own interpretation of the scripture. You know what I mean? Like, what surprised me is he knew, um, what scripture is that? Um, Isaiah 47, when it talks about um, garments rolled in blood and, and I will not meet you as a man. You know? He knew that was the Messiah. So I said, well, why do you think the Messiah coming back to be all nice and, and save everybody? <laughs> if you know that he's all dressed in blood and, he, I mean, his garments rolled in blood. You know, he treaded the wine press alone. If he's going to do all that, why do you think he's coming back to save everybody? He ain't had no answer for me, though. But my point being, you got a lot of jakes that's still trying to hold on to this world. I, 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 I seen a demon, you know, Satan was fucking with me. I seen a, a demon I knew from the world, and he made that statement, and I was just thinking, and I was like, damn, I'm blessed. He was like, um, you know, he talked to an, a, another guy. I mean, he seen me, I seen him, but we didn't speak, and he's talking to another guy. You know how you buy somebody, they don't really pay attention to you, but I paid attention to them. He might have seen me, I don't know. Long story short, you know how they just shooting the shit, and he was like, um, what's up, what's going on, how you doing? He like, oh yeah, I'm holding on like a hubcap. So you got niggas that really want to hold on to this piece of shit place. That's why the Lord got to eradicate two-thirds of our people. Um, he said hold on like a hubcap. He said, man, it, shit. But hubcaps come off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I just recently lost a hubcap. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> like, fuck. Uh, most high. Break that. Yeah, funny. Uh I said, Iraq had... Iraq admitted it had hundreds of scientists working in at least five separate facilities, a number of which were located underground and which had survived destruction in the Gulf War. In 1996, the CIA provided President Clinton with reports on a biological weapons program believed to be in existence inside North Korea, Iran, Iraq, Libya, and Syria, all still classified in 2015. In 1996, Salakia, in 1997, Jasons were asked to conduct a summer study on biological weapons threats. The group had a new scientist in their ranks, the microbiologist Stephen M. Block, who several years later published some of the unclassified findings of this Jason summer study. The most successful, it's like it, the most significant threat noted Block was the accelerated pace at which discoveries in molecular biology were being made. Recent advances in life sciences have changed the nature and scope of microbiology. He wrote, revealing inevitably a dark 
side. The adjacent scientists warned just how dangerous the threat of genetically engineered pathogens have become. Modern bio, so like, yeah, my, modern bi, bioscience has made possible the creation of entirely new weapons of mass destruction or WMDs endowed with unprecedented power to destroy it, Block wrote. And that's why I say in Zechariah, and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And that's, like I said, when you take a Terminator 2, that's the, the scene when she stand on her feet and, you know, she get burnt, you know, from the inside out. You know, like, because that's what's happening if it's so hot that your eyeballs burn, you know, you burn from the inside out. It's That's deep. It says, um, unprecedented power to destroy. Block wrote, was this alarmist hype or largely warranted? Yes. Block said the Jason scientists had concluded the latter. So it was warranted. And I could believe that. You know, if you look at the first atomic bomb, um, Big Boy, and I forgot the names on them. It was two of them, though. Man, like I said, them people, they didn't even understand. The, I did a, a, a series on that because I came across a book of about Hiroshima, they didn't even understand the effects. It even went into um, what Oppenheimer said, you know what I mean, physicists. You know, and to show you how war makes money, these motherfuckers rich as fuck. When you go into the Manhattan Project and all that, so these motherfuckers just dope. You know, when you get to just think about but right now is the time more than ever to be studying, being diligent. Like, I was just listening to the brother from um, New York to up and coming, well, the elder, I believe he's an elder as well. I keep calling them brother. They brothers, and then, you know, they are elders. But, or they elders, and then they they are brothers. I don't know. I, I know that Yahweh Shai is our big brother. So you know what I mean, but he's our Lord first. So, so our elders, the elder, um, he was going into um, just he was going into you know the significance of. Right now is, you know, he's like got laid off, and when he got laid off, he knew, like this is it. You know what I'm saying? He was like, they they said they'd just get back to him. My job done did something like that. My job been working for forty years. They surprised to see, you know what I mean? They like they ain't had to do like we was working six days. They've been doing that for years. When they just went, we just went down to five. Cause well, in actuality, even though we in manufacturing, everything's about to slow down because everything the economy has stopped. So basically, we making our product, but we ain't sending it to nobody. Bear with me for a second. Um, well, where did I stop at? In Block's opinion, it seems likely that such weapons will eventually come to exist simply because of the lamentable ease with which they may be constructed. They were cheap, easy to make. I mean, if you knew what you were looking for and could find out how to create them freely available in the public domain. And that's the spirit, because I was just thinking about Apostle Tahar. I can't remember the name of the video. I was listening to it after work one day. He went into how much or how much does a, a ICBM weigh. And I think he, he was like, whoa. I think he said 78,000. Now, and, um, I want to say Japan or China, these motherfuckers was walking around basically worshiping a, a phallus, a penis. You know what I'm saying? But the missiles are penises, you know what I mean? They, you know, like, that's why you got people like in, in North Korea, you know, um, literally like parading them through the, Russia do it too. And then you had Donald Trump follow suit when he did the little military parade. Because that's all they doing. They letting you know, I got this. Believe in our country, you know what I'm saying? Like, man. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, and that shows you, proves to you how a man really has power. But this devil has turned everything upside down, like in the book of Isaiah say, Turn things upside down. He can get his bitch power, and now this bitch. And but you know what? The spirit. That's how you know you're close to the end. I have never seen women so motherfucking humble. You know what I mean? Like just the like rouches or yeah, because they can feel it in their spirit. This, now you got some motherfuckers that just stuck out there. The <laughs> Lord let them be touched. You know what I mean? But yeah, Lord to touch one of his prophets. So why would he touch? It? What he two thirds? But what I'm saying is like literally. You, I see the humble ability, you know. Now, to show you, like I said, you can see the spirit. Some of them just lost. Like, through this quarantine, you still got these bitches. These hair stores, 
making money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Listen, they said that fucking farmers is not not they're non-essential workers. How the fuck the people that get us the food are non-essential? That's how you know this shit is done by design. It says uh the ability to genetically engineer pathogens that had raised the threat level for use as a weapon, the possibilities were limitless, right? Because you could use all kinds of diseases. You know, I believe that the coronavirus is a, a um, weapon because, like I said, it was actually the most ingenious. Like, I always wondered how was they going to usher this shit in. Because I'm like, there's too many Americans, we too opinionated. How they going to do this? This was, I said, God damn, Esau is really a genius. Daniel 28 and 3. Like, I was like, God damn, he really? But at the same time, like, because when you take time to think about it, and it came in in the way, like, it has the same symptoms of fucking the flu. So you can't tell the difference. That's what, oh, it's just a cold. They said Trump said that. All these people said that. But I seen some bullshit to it because, like I said, these people was coming from out of the country. When you go through out of the country, they, they got a whole totally different screening method. Then they said that the whole boats and shit that these people that spoke been affected on was already, like, kind of lightweight. Uh, what's the word? Lightweight detained. But then they... Like gave them authorization and they let them slip in. It's like they purposely let them slip in. But when you go into the coronavirus, it attacks your lungs. You know what I mean? Like you get all the symptoms of the flu, but when you die, it's really it's a respiratory disease. So it's actually attacking those lungs. You know what I'm saying? Like so that made me think that they weaponized it. If you were to mix a bowl with the communicant. That's a spirit. If you were to mix Ebola, it said the ability to genetically engineer pathogens had raised the threat level. For use as a weapon, the, pop, the possibilities were limitless. If you were to mix Ebola with the communicability of measles to create a pathogen, that would continue to alter itself in such a way to evade treatment. And that's the spirit, because that's what the fuck the corona doing. is able to mutate that's why they can't figure out what the, you know what I'm saying, like how, because you they don't have, like, certain pathogens got certain, like a cold got certain shit, you know what I'm saying, and you take these things and do certain things, and then boom, but this thing is, like, if you, it's morphing to whatever, like, if something wrong with you, that's what they're saying, like, I can believe certain numbers are higher than others, like Italy, Italy has a population of a lot of older people, people that got money, they go, like, like how Florida is, when you get money, people to try and retire in Florida because that's where they want to die. They want to die where it's warm. You know what I mean? A lot to do with shit like that. But Florida getting played right now. Like Florida on some lockdown shit. So it's just amazing to me. I know people that actually, I, I literally knew from the world that call themselves making their lives better and they went to certain states like Seattle, well, city, Seattle and San Francisco. Two people. And those was some of the first ones locked down. It's a beautiful. Call her law. Call her law, yum. Yeah, how about Hashem, y'all shut. Because at the end of the day, this shit coming. No matter how much you want to pray against it, oh, it's going to be a good year, none of that shit. Because it, it ain't me saying this. This is all in the Bible. Um, the rate of Ebola's transmission and infectivity was skyrocket. These stealth viruses, which al called chimeras, were even more men menacing from a psychological perspective blocks it. And I'm about to circle that and go look into that. Because I've heard of that in the past, but this is where you get them chimeras for. Because chimeras, like when you go into the ancient Greek philosophy of a chimera, that was like how you had um like Pegasus, I guess, would be a chimera because it was a it was a horse with wings. Or how you had the griffin. The griffin um had an eagle body and wings, but then it had a lion fucking feet and claws. It was is is a mixture of different fucking animals, and that's what these diseases is. Um, I'm, I'm gonna leave this with a scripture. Bear with me for a second. I'm gonna end this lesson with Matthew. I, I I had some scriptures on pestilence, but I was like, you know what? Because I love this scripture. Because we live in the time of it right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, you know. This is just the beginning. This ain't the first pestilence or biological weapon or whatever the case may be. This ain't the first um, birth pain. You know, more is to come. You know what I mean? Because before it get better, before the kingdom come, it's got to get a lot fucking worse. It tells you in the book of Acts chapter 14 that through much tribulation, 
And tribulation go through hardship. You know what I mean? Suffering. You know, those words, words are synonymous with, you know, tribulation. Through much tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom. You know what I mean? So to get the kingdom, you about to suffer for it because, like I said, you are not greater than the Lord. The Lord suffered to sit at the right hand of the Most High, our big brother, to sit next to, on the side of our father. So just imagine what he went through. But he overcame. And through him, you're able to overcome or you will be able to overcome. That's why right now I just pray that I get a foundation. I'm looking for the foundation, you know, because with what's coming, ooh, this shit about to be deep. This is the book of uh, Matthews, chapter 24. Verse 4. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For a nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences. Now, like I said, you got nations rising against nations. You got all these countries and nations busking up to America. You got uh, famines, because they talking about the store shelves. I was going to do a video on that. And that's the spirit, because it just came back. They, they talking about these store, store shelves is running out of food. Because, like I said, the farmers are considered non-essential. Yeah, like, right. Uh... You got pestilences, because you got multiple plagues going on right now, and the main one is corona, but you got other shit. You got the black devil. My my demon had took my kids to California. Satan jumped on her, ran with my kids to California. I went out there. They had the black death out there, and I could see why. You know what I mean? You got people just defecating on the floor. I mean, not on the floor, on the ground, because homelessness is so bad out there. I mean, they wanted me to go party and kick it with them, and I ain't going to lie. I came down there for them, but then I'm like, I'm down here. I, well, that was one of the first camps I was watching. I had to link up with the brothers. But at the same time, they like, yeah, we go do this and do that and see this. But everywhere we went, it was some homeless people. And that shit depressing because you see that here. But it was worse there, you know what I mean? I'm like, and then they literally like just, man, it was different. I mean, I seen homelessness. I, I was homeless for four, almost five years, like, but no, nah, it was different there. I'm talking about like, you could tell when that spirit turned up down there, them motherfuckers going to be eating each other. That's why they California love. <laughs> yeah, they, it was California love, but it was based off of fucking, like the video theme was around fucking Mad Max. It says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So this, when you first seeing all this stuff, that's just the beginning. You still got major prophecies got to come. And the main one is that chip. Then you're going to have that, that war of Armageddon. You know. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying to the hopeful elect. Call her law. La Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rahakwadash with a thumb, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, who taught me the truth, peace and salutation to the Akim around the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwa, thank the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willing, was an edifying video. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the other nations, looking like the other nations, but subscribing to this truth. You all say Shalom. Until next time, Lord willing, I'm able to come up with another video. Shalom, shalom, and my wath la babar.